Hi everyone, welcome back to our shark page from Lost Ocean. This is our fourth um, shark and uh, I've got to think of some different colours for this little chap. Um, I think I'm going to do the corally bits in blue. I know it's a, maybe a bit odd, I don't know, but um, I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to do them in the same way I did um, the one above. So I'm going to use the sky blue first. Sorry, it's a grey blue because I'm going to do the shark grey and uh, I'm just going to fill in all the coral in this sky blue and then use some darker blues to sort out all the details. And uh, then we'll be off really. We've only got this little bit here. This is quite a blunt pencil, but it's okay for when you're doing this sort of larger area. But I'll need to, a sharper one in a minute. There we go. Right, I'm going to use um, this one. It is the Ultramarine. I feel like it's in the same colour family as the um, um, Sky Blue. Gosh, my memory. How long ago was it I used it? <laughs> I was a little bit distracted actually. But uh, that's okay. I just took a COVID test actually. I haven't got COVID. It was negative. Um, I had a bit of a headache for quite a while. And uh, it feels like the one I had when I had COVID. So I was just checking but it isn't there. But uh, I think it might just be sinuses to be honest. Um, which I get most winters, so wouldn't be at all surprised. But I just thought I'd better check um, before I go out, you know. It's for other people's benefit, really. Right, I've got the um, Light Ultramarine, which is a sort of in-between these two. And I'm just going to do a little bit like this bit. And then maybe just a little bit of here and there. They're quite small, these bits. This is a particularly small shark. So I'm just putting a few bits in here and there. It might look a bit scrappy. There we go. Now we have the leafy bit. Now I'm thinking, because I'm doing a grey shark. Um, hmm, let's do the grey greens. We've got, well, sort of more grey greens, I think, anyway. I'm going to use the juniper green to start with. And I'm going to use that for the grassy bits, as always. Um, the grass is in the slightly darker green. Um, you don't have to, ooh, I think there's a bit there, that one. Um, you don't have to do it my way. You can do lighter green for some of your grassy bits if you'd rather. And you can also um, mix it up. You don't have to have all the grasses the same colour. Um, or you could, um, within each grass, you could change colour. I know there's absolutely um, gorgeous tutorial by Peter Hewitt and she does the um, duck pond from Secret Garden in Polychromos. I think it was one of the first Polychromos tutorials. There was always a bit of a lack of them when I first started colouring and uh, so it was a really popular one. And the grass is in that picture. And she used about three or four different colours along each grass, ending with a cream. Um, and uh, it, they were gorgeous. But if you want um, some more polychromos um, videos, um, hers I would definitely recommend. This is the Earth Green. Um, I don't know if she's still making them, to be honest, but obviously it doesn't. You can still look at her old ones, even if she's not making new ones. And uh, very good. Um, this, I'm going to do this curly um, seaweed, I'm thinking. Um, I'm trying to fade it a little bit, but because it's such a pale colour, that's a little bit tricky. Now, we've got these other two. Um, yeah, I think that green might work. I'm actually going darker. I think the pine green. No, no, changing my mind. The um, chrome oxide green. There we go. I've got a cut on my finger. It's really sore. 
I mean, no, it's a huge knot. Um, I don't know why it's so sore, <laughs> or how I did it. Um, very odd, anyway. So yeah, this is a, it's quite a similar colour to the grass actually. Hmm. I think when it's beside it, you can just about see that it's a little bit different. Hopefully, or maybe it doesn't really matter. Now we've done a warm grey shark, so this one is going to be a cold grey. Just it's a little bit different, and I think the cold grey goes better with these greens that I've picked. Oh, we need to do this bit. Well, it was the other way around. I'd already decided on the cold grey, so I made sure the greens were ones that would go with it. Now I'm wondering on my other page whether to do it the same. We've got four sharks again. Whether to do the a warm, a warm brown, a blue, a brown, and a cold grey. Sorry, a warm grey at the beginning. Or whether to do something completely different. I don't know. So, cold grey five, I think, might be the place to start. It's quite a dark one, but I'm going to use it quite lightly. Sounds a bit of a... a, a um, contradiction, that's the word. Where are my words today? Somewhere else. I was talking to my sister about memory. Because uh, obviously, um, as you get older, it becomes a bit of an issue. But uh, it, apparently, it's very common to um, not remember a certain word. As long as you can think of it eventually or a replacement for it, it's not a problem if you can follow a conversation and things like that. Or follow plot lines of films, um, mostly. I mean, some are ultra complicated, but you know what I mean, normally, or TV shows of whatever, and things like that. You shouldn't need to be too worried which is good so uh, I mean we're only um, 49 so we shouldn't be getting too worried and me and my sister being twins yeah we've got a big birthday this year which is kind of exciting, but kind of not. I'm going to go for a darker grey. I'm just going to go up one, I think, to the cold grey six and do a bit of the edge, sorry, holding it miles away. Um, she wants to do something memorable. I remember my um, 40th was very memorable. I didn't want to do anything particular. I wasn't um, happy about being 40 for various reasons, but... Uh, we in our, our local canals has been restored and then um, they're in the middle of restoring it and on my birthday they happened to open it up so you could walk in it before they filled it with water and so picked the children up from school and uh, we all went down and walked in the empty canal um, basin it was fabulous very memorable and so uh, that was good but uh, I'm not sure this time Everything I suggested, she wasn't didn't think would be very memorable. So, I'm not sure what she had in mind really. But uh, anyway, with time, lots of time, to have a think about that. To be honest, I'm not. I don't get that bothered about birthdays. Um, I much prefer Christmas. For me, it and everybody is excited, everybody has presents, everybody celebrates, I mean not everyone in the world but you know what I mean, in my family. It's so nice to sort of share that celebration when it's your birthday, it's just you, nobody else cares. <laughs> well some people care but you know what I mean, they're not all getting excited because it's not there, they're not getting anything. So uh, you know, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll come up with some sort of plan. There he is. I'm not sure if he doesn't look a bit strange with this big blue bit here and green bit here. But anyway, he's done now. <laughs> strange or not. So he was a little bit short. It's quite a small um, shark. Um, I'm just going to give some thought to the eyes of them all. And I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all the eyes now. 
um, as this is a short video, I'll just do, I'm going to use the Payne's Grey. I'm going to start by putting a dark for each side and leaving the either end white. Okay, you can do that on every shark. Actually, it'd be easier if I zoom out a bit rather than try and move the book up and down. There we go. So, dark here, then fade to top and bottom. <clears throat> And then I'm going to get a white, quite a small white. Um, she says picking up a big white. Hang on. Well, this is a 08. It's a little bit smaller than a Posca. And I'm just going to make a little dot in the centre of the black bit. Just so it looks like it's catching the light. There we go. So there is that page finished. Um, yeah, but we're going to do the other page straight away. Um, as I say, I'm not sure if the videos will all be in succession. It sort of depends whether I make them morning or afternoon, whether there's a Monday, that sort of thing. But it'll be pretty much a, a, a free run of series. You could also use this white for the teeth. As I said in a previous video, you might want to make them really white so they stand out from the cream paper. I think they're too small and fiddly. I think if I try and do that, I'll either go over the line, I'll go into the chalk, I'll go over the teeth line and you won't see it or something. I'm just not going to not going to do that, but it's completely up to you. But uh, yeah, I'm waffling and uh, I don't really need to, do I? You've probably got things you want to go and do. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. As I say, there will be more, but that's me for now. So have a lovely, lovely day and happy colouring.